Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Harumi, and I will be your webinar admin today. Before we get started, I'll quickly go over some housekeeping items. We'll be following up with everyone after the presentation with a recording of the webinar. At any time during the presentation, you'll be able to post your questions in the Q&A tab, and we'll answer these questions at the end during our Q&A session. If we're not able to answer everyone's questions during the Q&A period, we'll definitely make sure to follow up with you individually. And now to kick things off, I'd like to take you through the agenda for today. We'll talk about the top operational challenges faced by creative leaders today, why a work OS solution is critical to solving those challenges, how a dam can extend the life of your creative assets, how to automate your creative process through integration, and then we'll end with a Q&A session. So without further ado, please allow me to introduce you to our guest speakers today. We have Quiva Rainey, Partnerships Marketing Manager at Media Valley, Alexander Detweiler, Director of Channel Partnerships at Monday.com, and Brian Merrill, Director of Sales at IO Integration. And now over to you, Alexandra. Thank you so much for that nice introduction. Today, I'm gonna to discuss the four main operational challenges that creative leaders are consistently facing today. Unsurprisingly, many struggle to manage distributed teams. Creative teams have always had a lot of moving parts, but these days managing remote teams is the new norm. In fact, research from Doodle shows that 71% of professionals lose time every week to unnecessary meetings, which teams feel even more profoundly when working from home. Next, it is increasingly difficult to manage high volumes of work. Creative teams generating various content pieces are constantly under deadline pressure. With so many tasks to juggle, it's easy to let things slip through the cracks, right? Fail to meet quality standards and make content harder to find. Now, according to the CMS study, workers on average spend 36% of their day consolidating and looking for information. And 44% of the time, they can't even find the information. And pushing cross departmental projects forward is challenging. Managing the creative process across the multiple teams is another very common struggle. They tend to use their own tools and act as siloed units, which leads to friction between teams and ultimately the lack of transparency as we try to collaborate. Teams need an easier way to increase visibility, align with relevant stakeholders and push work forward. Now, lastly, balancing overloaded workloads isn't straightforward. We all live and work in a fast moving environment with never ending progress, yet with limited resources. When members of the creative team are overloaded, creative projects can suffer delays and miss deadlines. This lack of transparency overload can quickly lead to burnout and frustration amongst team members. Now, before I dive into monday.com addresses each of these challenges, I'll tell you a little about who we are as an organization and really what a work OS is. Monday.com is a work operating system, which we have coined as a work OS where organizations of any size can create tools and processes they need to manage every aspect of their work. By combining building blocks like apps, automations, and integrations, teams and creative teams can build or customize the workflow of their dreams. Monday.com serves over 370,000 users in our creative and marketing clusters. And most of our insights come directly from those users and help shape our creative work OS roadmap as we evolve. So from concept to completion, Monday.com centralizes your creative workflow so your teams can manage all their incoming requests in one place. Now, back to the challenges that I outlined. Okay, first, to help manage those distributed teams, creative leaders need to establish centralized and efficient workflows. No process or too much process often bogs down the content creation. And it's important to create a single space where review takes place. Ensure the right stakeholders are involved and held accountable and avoid having issues of having too many cooks in the kitchen. 
then efficiently manage all of your creative assets. Considering email, hallway conversations, text messaging, phone calls, for me, it could be total chaos. When you centralize your intake process, you can pay attention to one single channel. Also consider creative milestones and creative asset management. Time spent searching for the content across several platforms reduces your team's productivity. Having an organized asset manage hub allows everyone on the creative team and across the organization to finally have access to a single source of truth, which is crucial in keeping with brand consistency. Now, both internally and externally. So working smarter, not harder, as we often say, is the name of the game. Now you can take out manual repetitive, repetitive, repetitive that's a tough one, manual repetitive tasks out of your workday to unlock your creative team's potential. First here, automations can effectively minimize admin tasks and high volumes of work, creating productivity. When you automate repetitive manual error prone work, it frees up everyone's time and energy to focus on more impactful work, such as creative thinking, problem solving, and innovative ideas. Everyone enjoys significant time back in their day to perform this meaningful creative work. And custom automation recipes can easily be integrated with your team's work. And then combined with third-party integrations tailored to your team's needs, make them fit perfectly to specific workflows. Code free. And it really only takes a couple of seconds to set these up. Some of the common automation recipes include notifying when someone needs changes, someone makes changes, assigning someone to a specific type of item, triggering a template to be created once a project is approved, or automatically publishing a pre-written update when a status change is to done. But as mentioned, no less powerful are the recipes that you customize to fit your needs. For example, when a visual is approved, begin a social campaign, or when a product launch date is final, set a new email campaign task. Going back to the multiple tools. As you know, switching between tools is exhausting and breaks your creative flow. Doing so regularly can cause miscommunication and introduce errors. We here at Monday realize the simple answer to this pain point is of course to integrate more of the tools across departments so that everyone has access to the same data. Monday.com integrates with Google Workspace, with Microsoft Office 365, Slack, and many other popular tools. And it also integrates with specific marketing tools like Facebook ads and LinkedIn and HubSpot and Salesforce and MailChimp and Eventbrite and others. Many of our clients integrate their in-house systems and favorite tools through an open API to ensure their marketing data is represented within Monday, whether it's a click-through rates, open rates, budget spending, or any metric they wanna pull from other tools. Earlier, we mentioned the challenge of balancing workloads or overload. We want to ensure our team members are confident with the amount of work that's on their plate. And that's from designers to copywriters to any marketing manager. So here, give yourself and other stakeholders a clear overview of how your team's work is divided and who is over capacity so you can reschedule or reallocate work as necessary to ensure the timelines can be met. As you can see on the slide, make informed decisions about headcount planning. And lastly, this helps ensure a healthier spread of responsibility and set goals that are realistic and achievable. This is a great example. When Ryan joined MBooth, his team was using other tools to manage their daily operations. As his team started to scale, it became challenging to track all the moving pieces with the growing number of creative projects and design requests. Their tools just didn't fit their needs, which was less than ideal. The workarounds they tried were time consuming and led to many inconsistencies and misalignments. Now with monday.com's work OS, Ryan has streamlined all their processes and workflows into one place without the need for any other tools. Ryan has set up multiple customer custom workflows that make the project manager's life easier, managing and tracking creative projects with complete visibility at every stage. 
Ryan's team now automates most of their routine work, assigns designers based on workload, and tracks hours on 500 plus requests a month. Now that was a quick run through and a few takeaways. With Monday creative teams collaborate more effectively, aligning and scaling to ever-changing business needs while ensuring complete transparency. And I do hope these creative and productivity hacks arm you with some tools to streamline your marketing creative process and scale with confidence and of course with ease. Now, one of the many advantages of working with Monday.com is our robust partner ecosystem. And that includes the acumen of partners like IO Integration to help set up your Monday.account correctly the first time and help you implement new features as they come out. Now I'd like to turn this back to Media Valet. Yeah, awesome. Thank you for that, Alex. I think you've really highlighted those challenges that we as marketers or creative leaders often face. I really think the next step to this is figuring out what really happens after a project is complete. What we feel far too often on our side is although this, you know, a campaign has gone through a beautiful project workflow in a work OS or a project management solution like monday.com, the minute that campaign has ended, the assets that were created and used throughout the campaign almost become forgotten about or lost in this asset abyss. So what this challenge often looks like is the assets are left on a person's computer or in an email thread. And really in the best case scenario, the assets are left buried on a server or stored away in the likes of a Google Drive or Dropbox. And we're not just talking about your final files. This exact same thing happens to your design files. So that's your templates that really could and should be reused, as well as your source files. So that's your fonts, your stock images, maybe it's a photo shoot that you paid for. I guess what I'm really trying to get across here is that although you may have this streamlined operation system in place, a lot of the time what happens to your assets after a campaign has ended is an afterthought for many marketers. So the big question, do you really know what happens to your assets once you finish a campaign? Many organizations feel their assets are arguably well organized in a folder structure or on a shared server. All of this sounds well and good, but the real issue that often isn't considered is that you can only find those specific assets within a server if you have full context on the campaign. This means that you're excluding new hires, people who weren't involved in the campaign, and ultimately your future self from ever finding and reusing those assets again. This can significantly restrict your ROI, especially on those source files that could easily be reused for many other campaigns. So if you think about it, within a shared server, you have folders with years, and then you've subfolders with quarters, and then you've even more subfolders with campaign names. For the first few months post campaign, this isn't an issue because your team will have context into the campaign and remember what assets were used and where they can find them. However, what happens a year or even five years down the line when you have new team members and only a few people actually remember that the campaign even happened? What you're left with is very few or no people with any context on what assets were involved in a campaign, better yet where to find where to even find them at the end of the day. So essentially what you're left with is a bunch of assets sitting in a beautiful folder structure from 2015 that people don't know even exist. This is where something like a DAM becomes really beneficial. For those of you that don't know what a DAM is, a DAM or digital asset management solution is a centralized cloud-based library that helps companies manage, organize, share and distribute their digital assets. When interviewed, 79% of marketing leaders in Gartner's marketing technology survey stated that they have either fully deployed or in the process of deploying a DAM solution. What's really becoming clear is that digital asset management is no longer an option for highly productive marketing and creative teams. Where DAM really differentiates from something like a Dropbox is that in addition to having categories and embedded metadata, a DAM also enriches assets with keywords, cognitive metadata, and auto-generated tags. So how does DAM help improve asset reuse within a team? The answer is increased searchability. Looking at the add-on screen, 
Imagine you or your team created this digital ad for an Acme, Sh Acme Shoes spring campaign. A few days later, maybe you need to find the asset and resize it for different social channels. Because you have full context on the campaign, you can easily look for the asset within the DAM via the cascading category structure. You just click into the folder that you need and all the source design and final files associated with that campaign will appear. However, as time goes on, you may lose some context on the campaign. For example, you remember that you ran a campaign a few years ago to promote Acme Shoes and that the call to action or CTA was shop now, but you can't remember what season or what quarter the campaign was in. Traditionally, what you'd have to do to find that asset is spend time searching through the folders on your shared server or ask other people on your team to see if they remember where the assets are stored. And honestly, this is just going to take up a whole lot of unnecessary time. However, with DAM, this pain point can be completely alleviated. Because you remember the CTA for the campaign is shop now, all you have to do is search the CTA in the DAM and all the source design and final assets associated with that campaign will appear. Finally, even if you have no context on the campaign whatsoever, e.g. you've recently joined the company or you weren't involved in the original campaign, you can still very easily act, access and utilize all of the source design and final assets for all past campaigns. So in this instance, you need a picture of trainers for a design brochure. All you have to do is search for trainers in the DAM and all the source files available of trainers will appear. This is not only saving time and money, but it's also deduplicating work for your employees. To follow on from my last slide, the main benefits that users find when fully utilizing DAM's key features, such as keywords, cognitive metadata, and auto-generated tags, is number one, maximized ROI of your assets. On average, a single office will recreate five to 15% of assets, while a global organization will recreate up to 35% of assets. That's a lot of wasted revenue going into the likes of photo shoots, stock images, re-downloading fonts, et cetera, just because your assets have fallen into this asset void deep in some like file structure on a shared server. A DAM allows you to take inventory of what digital assets you currently have and determine which of those are relative and reusable. Secondly, streamline projects. You will save time using previous project, projects and assets as templates so you're not starting from scratch every single time you want to create a new marketing brochure or social ad. This enables teams to brainstorm and generate new pieces of content in way less time by using pre-approved content. And finally, save time searching for assets. Implementing a DAM speeds up the ability for all departments and teams to find the assets they need easily. This increased time to market frees up teams, frees up various teams to create more and better campaigns increasing overall productivity and inevitably increasing revenue. As well as this, according to G2, Media Ballet is the highest rated, rated DAM vendor for ease of setup, meaning high adoption amongst your team. And I guess similar to what Alex said about WorkOS, DAM is really only as good as you make it. To achieve long-term success, you need to maximize usability, i.e. ensure your DAM is easy to use from the get-go. Secondly, think about your users. Your DAM needs to be set up and configured right for your specific users. This will also maximize usability long-term. And finally, a DAM needs to be scalable as you grow. Keeping in mind that the long-term, keeping in mind the long-term vision of what you want it to look like when you have more users, more assets, and even more campaigns. Thanks, Quiva. The powerful experiences users gain from the monday.com and media valet solutions are invaluable and have many immediate benefits like the real-time visibility to work allowing more accurate decisions to be executed with more accurate decision making collaboration increases and aligns more closely to the final deliverables and subsequently with collaboration streamlined the focus can turn to monetizing that produced content accelerating the growth of the company But solving immediate challenges and use cases by way of user experience only provides short-term benefits. Complete technology transformations must consider both the user experience and long-term strategic goals of your company and connect them by optimizing the end-to-end -end processes for teams and departments. 
At IO Integration, our expertise is on alleviating that pain that creative and marketing groups experience when adopting solutions and new processes. Through a prescriptive onboarding plan focused on defining, defining ideal workflows, we accelerate value and maximize your long-term technology investments. We do understand that excitement and freedom that effective tools bring to organizations. And though you may want to accelerate and expand quickly, in our experience, it's vital to first have a contextual plan delivering dynamic efficiencies that are replicable, scalable, and more easily adopted across the organization. With the process and life cycle of deliverables now clearly defined, the implemented workflow enables efficiencies across departments and puts the focus back on execution. An example flow starts with the project manager needing to quickly see in-flight project status and bottlenecks through a dashboard, while a designer requires immediate availability to search and use assets to fulfill their creative responsibilities. With those critical foundational processes in place through monday.com and Media Ballet, campaign and product assets can move seamlessly through the numerous output channels for monetization. Working with a partner that understands the current and desired end state for content distribution, automation, and subsequently monetization will dramatically improve the success and maximize the value of your technology rollouts. Awesome, thank you so much for that, Brian. And thank you to our wonderful speakers, Quifa and Alex. So without further ado, let's finish off today's session with some Q&A. Uh, let me see here, I'm just gonna take a look at the chat. So Brian, we have the first question for you. Um, we have files everywhere and on employees, personal computers, hard drives. Is it possible to organize as we implement or do we need to fix this first? It's an important question and it has a couple of different answers and relying on experts to help understand exactly what those files are, where they're located. There's a few different strategies to employ. So whether you're an organization moving into the digital asset management or work OS space for the first time, um, it may be a good idea to do an organization and a migration of that content once your configuration is ready to go. Uh, but for other teams or other departments that or, or clients that have a uh, that have some experience with DAM. Um, there are some contextual or some configuration tools that IOI has developed specifically for Media Valet and Monday uh, that can clean out um, all that data, um, make sure that the versions and the files and duplicates aren't going to be bogging down your solution and push them right into the Monday.com and Media Valet tool sets. Uh, so it's really about focusing in on understanding exactly what the content is. Um, and how best to make that work properly from a migration standpoint for your company. Thank you. Um, Quiva, I have another one here for you. Um, as an organization, how do we know if we need a DAM or not? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and to be honest, it usually comes down to three things. Um, so I'd say the first thing to consider is the type of assets you own. If you have a large number of visual files like photos, videos, 3D files and design files, um, I would say that's the first indicator of a need for a DAM because a DAM can support so many different file types. Um, the second thing to think about is how many users you have. So if you're a large team or, or, or are planning on scaling a DAM to other departments um, or else maybe to external vendors, a DAM in this case is a great solution. Um, I know here at Media Valley, we offer an unlimited number of users, um, which is great. And then thirdly, I'd say, what search capabilities do you need? If you want to be able to search using the likes of keywords, color, text within an asset, star ratings, categories, etc., um, and more than just file names, I think that's really the third indicator that there's a likely use case there for a DAM. Thank you. Brian, here's another one for you. Um, my small team is focused on transformation, but it's been challenging to get leadership buy-in. Do you have any suggestions to help me? Well, just as just as your small team is focused and maybe leading the digital transformation effort, um, you're really focusing on, well, how does it benefit me and what's in it for that team in order to begin using a tool like Monday or Media Valet? Um, the same thing can be said for leadership. Um, it is imp very important. It's critical within an organization that leadership is accountable and is making sure that any 
technology rollout is planned for and um, maintained. But it's also if you're leading that from the bottom up and building an educational level to the leadership group that you focus on also what's in it for them. So um, the amount of time that you're saving to do your work or the amount of monetization that you're able to now deliver to your content, because you can search for it, you can reuse and repurpose uh, that produce those produced assets or those previous campaigns that you may not have visibility to before. Um, you can quickly document that and begin sharing that from an educational standpoint uh, to engage and bring leadership forward to uh, for them to deliver that accountability to the rest of the organization. Great, thank you. Um, Alex, we have one for you. Uh, we work mostly in Kanban. Does Monday.com support this methodology? Oh, okay, sure, yes, absolutely. Um, but we also support Agile and Waterfall and Scrum and really any methodology that suits your, your team best. But that's a, that's a good question. Great. Puiva, um, here's one for you. What advice would you give to get your uh, creative team on board with using a DAM? Yeah, um, really, really good question. Um, and I think for creative departments, whether they're in-house or maybe they're an external agency, the for first and foremost focus for them is always going to be on efficiency. Um, so I'd say understanding how they work, both individually and as a team, um, is detrimental in finding a dam that's going to be adopted. So I guess minimizing perceived change, obviously the end goal is to deliver a solution um, that provides benefits, but still follows their existing workflow as closely as possible. Um, and then I'd also say finding a champion on the team to support the project, that's always going to be really, really useful. Um, and then, yeah, finally, I'd say setting a schedule to train teams and stages. So transitioning as an entire team to new software all at once can often, you know, risk putting production way behind. So yeah, break out training and stages and, and get everyone on board that way. Great, thank you. And I think we have one uh, time for just one more. Um, Alex, here's a question for you. Are we able to collaborate with freelancers and other agencies within monday.com and our guests allowed? Hmm. <laughs> so yes, there are three different types of boards at monday.com. There are main, shareable, and private. Now the shareable boards allow you to collaborate with anyone outside of your organization. Um, you know, really the best part of that is there's no limit to how many guests are allowed on those shareable boards. Okay. Well, I think that's about uh, that's all the time that we have now. I want, I want to thank everyone. I think that's all um, we have time for today. And I apologize if we didn't get around to answering your questions, but we will make sure to follow up with you individually. I um, appreciate you all for joining us and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.